Uh, next thing we have is bar generates photos now, finally. So we were talking about this a little bit earlier and our dev <laughs> content creator, not dev content creator documentary series that we're going to be doing on IG here and there. Uh, we'll see how, how it plays out. And one of the things that we're talking about there was uh, AI is going to be in pretty much everything. We've seen it. Uh, we've seen previews of it. Like when you think about autocomplete, when you're typing, that's a form of AI. And a lot of folks don't necessarily attribute that to, to AI. But now we have ChatGPT. We've had that for a while. We have Google Bard and other companies are trying to follow suit and even create their own versions of that and put it into their system. So, so Bard, which is Google Bard, now you can generate photos with it. And I think that's pretty exciting. Any thoughts on that? It's exciting and scary because we were also talking about how, you know, you have these deep fakes that's coming out. You have like this AI generated stuff. If you know how to prompt the AI correctly, it produces some pretty good stuff there. Um, I don't really know about Bard too much, but we, we, we've seen them. We've seen them being people posted it, people share about it. So paying attention to what AI is doing. And I'm, I'm not saying about, um, you know, how companies are using it. It's just how the general user base is utilizing it. Um, and just like everything else in the world, it can be used for good and it can be used for evil. So you have to use these technologies for the greater good, I hope. I definitely hope because I, I believe um, after this whole Taylor Swift thing that happened, um, we're going to start seeing some laws being pushed pretty quick about how can they control and regulate this. Of course, I mean, I, I, I think we are hesitant about being controlled and how we use things, but sometimes you just need it because people have, you know, evil intentions with it sometimes, um, of course. And there's people who are just scared about you know, Terminators coming back from the future to kill us all. Right. Right. So, for sure. Yeah. So a lot of things. I'll go ahead and re repeat that. No, oh, no, no, no. That's kind of it. Yeah. So, so what's interesting about that is like when it comes to using either Google Bard or chat GPT, you know, some people use Google stuff because they like Google. Some people don't like Google. <laughs> we get, we get that. Uh, but in terms of the actual model that they're using, you're using a very powerful model versus ChatGPT, which has the most powerful model for them behind a paywall, which is $20 a month. So most individuals will opt to use the Google one or even Bing, because I think their model is um, free for for now. I don't know if they'll add a, you know, a, a paywall, but between Bing and Google Bard, uh, you can get a lot done. And of course, ChatGPT, you can still use it. But if you want, you know, their extra tools and, and stuff, you got to pay $20 a month. So, uh, I mean, it's a cool thing, uh, but I do agree that it could be used for good or bad. And we've seen people, you know, get some, um, I would say, opportunities presented to them because their stuff was laid out properly in terms of documents or if they needed help writing an essay and not just have you know, chat GPT, write it, but actually review it for, you know, like sentence structure and things of that nature and how, and using AI for, for those kind of benefits and stuff like that. We've heard some tremendous stories, you know, in that arena, but that's not every case. There are individuals who are using it for other things. So, but it's a great tool. You know, I use it for different things, sometimes titles uh, for, for YouTube stuff, or even descriptions, you know, if I need some captions with some emojis, ask, you know, the tool, what kind of emoji I should use for this particular uh, caption and which tone should it have, things like that, you can use AI for. So it, it is a pretty good tool. Any other thoughts on that? Um, Just be responsible. Be a good person. Stop adding to the ugliness of this world. Yeah. <laughs> That's, a, that's all I can really say about it. But um, even if you use chat, chat GPT or Google Bard or any other AI um, products, I mean, it's something you should definitely pay attention to because we have a lot of big tech companies um, that kind of did some layoffs because they're using that money to really invest into how they can implement um, AI into their products and services. So it's not something that's some trend that's going to go away. It's, it's kind of here and we kind of have to figure it out. Yeah, 100%.